Hey guys, this is a video on how to waterproof your magneto electron coil, you know, your basic fucking coil for engines if you're going to be doing a mud machine or if it's going to be near a lot of water and you're pretty sure it's going to get drowned. Here's your tip. You're going to need WD-40. Always awesome. What you do is you set it down and you just drown it in oil. Especially all around your connections. You know, just down it in oil. And then, once it's been downed in oil, it's okay if there's access on it, it'll all dry off or cook in. Oh, wait, let's camera adjust. There we are. Set it out on your asphalt driveway and let it cook and that oil will cook in there and when you're done you'll have an oily nasty looking coil that you can wipe all the excess oil off and then it should work yeah I'm gonna let that coil cook and see if I fixed it so I'm thinking there's moisture in it and it's not working and here's the head off of that, uh, or off of a 5.5 horse bull lens. Ah! Fuck! That's a 5.5 horse, and this is a 3.5 horse. Why in the hell are they looking the same? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because they downsized the size of the engine now. It's all just in the stroke. Ah, oh, damn. This I'm gonna shave down. As well with uh, the uh, 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 the head that's going to go into the engine that's hiding in there. I don't have a problem with. Here this sits. God, last video was of it. And it's got a different rope in it because I ripped the fucking out, one out. I'm just going to go get a different pull cord and might change the handle out. This handle really blisters my hand. This was on, notice how I drilled a hole in there and then you can see it. I'm attempting to drill holes through it, sort of remove the buffer. Only stops about that far in there, right up basically to that line. It's going to go all the way in there. See? It goes all the way in there because I drilled a hole. So I got my loud out of it. <laughs> Just like I always wanted. And then we have this. And this is going to be a custom muffler. This hole is going to be... Uh, uh, God, I feel like shit. And this hole is going to be capped, basically, because I'm going to have a can fitting around it. A can like this. Obviously, without that hole. Baby formula can. It's all metal, which is awesome. Damn it. What I'm going to do... Sorry if the camera fucking is shit. Ah! I'm not going to be making a glass hack. I'm going to be making an actual muffler. And I'll take another can. I'll braze cans together. Either that, I'll make a, I'll braze a steel pipe. Ugh, there's something in the back of my throat. It's fucking it's annoying. That's somewhat how it's going to work. And this pipe's going to be all full of holes. And it's going to be awesome. And about my mini grease gun. Where's my mini grease gun? Right here. Oh yeah, I put transmission fluid in it to get it to work a little bit better. Clean it out. But when you pull these rods all the way back and you get them to lock. Let's see if I can figure this. 
you pull it to where it locks you can put it in a new tube of grease if you pull it just a little bit further see how it sort of shot some grease out right in there it shot out some excess grease yeah it's basically just full of uh, sea foamed transmission fluid I'm all covered in oil damn it some of you haven't noticed already this came out of the uh, full screen this is how I always assemble my new engines spray every fucking thing down with oil that way when it goes to start it burns it all off or like I put the head back onto an engine like for this I spray the cylinder full of WD-40 so that way it burns it has something to really fire with when it first goes to start but I always hold the choke out anyways and when you do start an engine for the first time never full throttle the bitch Okay, if you have one of those automatic chokes to where you throttle it up, notice how that works. It basically just pulls a little bit further and that tab pushes on the lever, which you see I'm pulling the choke on. It basically pushes on that and activates your choke. If you have an automatic choke, basically to where you throttle it up all the way, it'll be like right here is where it's full throttle. And then a little bit further, it'll be like choked. Starting in idle, choke that bitch, and crank her over until she starts. And do start it on WD 40. WD 40 is like the number one chemical I always recommend. And people are always wondering why the fuck is my engine running so fast, even when it's supposed to be in idle. Well, this here is your governor. A lot of people don't really know this, but you're supposed to have it when you full throttle and it's like wide open. But when you go to throttle down, it barely throttles down at all and it's sort of like running weird as hell. Shut the engine down. Put your throttle to full. I think I've gone over this before. Sorry, get this out of the way. Loosen this 3 8 nut. and uh, turn in this little shaft right above my fingernail. See, there's the 3 8 nut. Turn the shaft clockwise until it stops. Then, once it stops, make sure you're holding it and tighten that 3 8 nut. And if you have it at full throttle, it'll work perfectly. But what I will occasionally do is I'll have a friend put their finger in here to where it's not as high as the throttle and I'll have Govern still, but it's not going to be as high of a full throttle. It's probably going to be like, <laughs> it, it would act almost as if I had it throttled up like this, but you know, that's how I want to adjust your Governor with this, but I still got to toy with it a little and see what I can find. You know, while I have that WD-40, I should spray that down. Never hurt to spray your engine down a little. Oop. See, just a whoop. Spray down your cable real quick. Spray that joint. So that way it's a lot less resistive. You always go in there and behind. Always spray this little lever down because it grinds. I'm going to spray the top of the curb where there's linkages and stuff. Oh yeah, a lot, lot smoother. Spray this little hole, or spot where that governor goes in. And a project I want to try. I noticed this synchro balancer may have a very minor knock in this. It's only when I get it under a real heavy load that you notice it. 
I mean the grass will be like up to here on the mower deck and it'll start to and you'll notice it but you know this thing mows to about here and you know it'll be like up to the grass will be like up to here on the deck so that's a real heavy load I need to think about mowing <laughs> and get a new battery and get this and get that you know complete my shop but you know what life sucks so I can't uh, uh, video basically drags on I do update after update and you know what I don't really care because as soon as I get this thing torn apart you know it's going to be equipped with side shift or it still somewhat shifts like this except it's on a side goes in a circular pattern Mud King actually came up with this brilliant freaking idea and I'll be using a shifter this brass rod It's either brass or bronze, and if it's bronze, all I need is an oxy map set. Get that fucking hot, get that fucker hot, and just whoop, 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 dribble on cracks. But the way it shifts is it shifts like this, not like this. It doesn't shift on a hinge like this. It shifts like this. And I'll probably have it up here in 820. Yeah, people say MTDs are good for nothing. Well, when your MTD comes stock with 20 inch rears and 15 front and 15 uh, front tires, I'm thinking it's doing real good. Oh, but I'll be keeping the original front rims. This uh, cross brace is going to go. I'm going to redo everything. I'll be getting a new spindle for over there because that spindle is just toasted. Uh, I may do a steering somewhat like Murray's with the gear. Do I still have this thing up in the air on the jack? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, and there's a lot of play. Notice how that tire is somewhat wiggling, but this tire ain't. Yeah, everything's way too loose. It's all gonna get tightened. New bushings. Oh, oh. bronze bushings and no cheap bushings with the grease fittings built in you got your bushing and got an extension that's like this long on the bushing with a grease fitting on it and it doesn't even have a ball bearing in there to stop the grease from coming back so I will be fixing this whole thing up it'll be running it'll be 16s I'll try to get somewhat skinnier tires maybe I'll just fit really big tubes in them you know six inch wide two i think yeah these are six inch wides so these are really good no need for a spindle extension mod it's already good all i gotta do is throw bronze bushings in and a few washers on this uh side to keep the tire from rubbing against there see this has no wear on the side at all This side is pretty much freaking polished, and all the paint's gone. And there's a circle dug in my tire. I think I've already said this in MTD problems. Yeah, I did. Well, video's getting real long. You know, if you want more vids on this, let me know. Have a good day.